Okay, I have a very short video for you today, you'll be pleased to hear. Um, and before I start, I'll just give you a quick rundown on um, how this, this video came about. Um, Richard over at Vintage SF uh, showed a, a cover of a very little known artist called Don Ponchatz. You ever heard of him? No, I didn't think so. Um, actually, he's, uh, he's done some work for some very prestigious um, American publications. And um, that brought me to thinking, oh, I remember this guy. Um, he did a couple of very, very nice paintings for the Illustrated Hull Nelson hardback. That's a signed and numbered edition. Um, he did the little plate for the front cover and he also did the tip in that has the numbering and Hull Nelson signature on it. Now I hadn't realised, I, I wanted to show um, Richard this but I hadn't realised that I hadn't included it in my um, Hull Nelson tribute that I did a few years ago when he died. When I showed all the books that I had by him I hadn't actually included it so I couldn't show it to him. So um, I decided to uh, correct that terrible oversight um, by presenting it here today. Um, so yeah, here we have the illustrated Hull Nelson. Right, now that was his um, little front cover plate. Uh, this is uh, representing uh, Harlan Nelson's very famous story. Repent Harlequin, said the TikTok man. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, but inside there's even, even a more beautiful painting. I'll just get rid of my mush and uh, show you this. This is, um, this is another scene from, or another representation, I would say, from, um, that's the full jobby. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just absolutely beautiful. Um, and the unfortunate thing is, uh, being little known already, he didn't even get a credit uh, for either the plate or the cover. And the reason for that is that the, um, the, the internal stuff on this was actually exactly the same as was printed in the soft cover, which um, had a cover by Michael Whelan. And inside it still credits Michael Whelan because they couldn't bother to go to all the bother of changing it to, to show that, you know, Don Punchas did this. And then they never added the fact that he did the tipping plate. So that was a bit bone idle on the part of the uh, publishers, but there you go, these things happen. But this is a very nice volume. Um, actually, I bought it second hand for a fiver, <coughs> which is absolutely ridiculous compared with what it goes on eBay now. It's not um, It's not absolutely mint. You know, it's got a couple of scuffs on it, but, um, you know, for a fiver you can't complain. But it, it also has um, some work by some stellar artists there. Um, uh, Leo and Diane Dillon, uh, Steranko more importantly, and um, it has actually the, um, the illustration that Steranko did, you can watch it in 3D, you have the glasses there, and that again was from, um, from Repent Harlequin, so you had some absolutely stellar artists uh, representing that story, so I just thought I would show that to you as um, an interesting item. Now while I'm on, um, there was another item that I didn't cover in that um, that Hal Nelson uh, tribute video. That's a little scene, it's always all repent Harlequin today I'm afraid, a little scene hard, a little scene hardback of um, the full story um, with illustrations by as you can see there Rick Berry. So it's the um, it's the full story as published, and then along the way we have full page paintings by Barry. 
Now, as I say, this is one of his more, well, it is his famous, most famous short story. Um, by and large, any of you who, who know anything about Arnold Ellison will know that he only wrote uh, short stories apart from a couple of full length in his early career. Um, so, you know, if, you, if you're ever tempted to read a Harlan Ellison story, that's the one to read. Trust me. Okay, then, uh, while we're here, I just thought I'd show you this, which is my latest acquisition. Um, there you go, how's that for a title? The last person to marry a duck lived 300 years ago. As you can see, it's a collection of essays uh, by the great man. Uh, this is obviously in his later career, as you can see from the photo there. And probably one of the last uh, books that was published uh, by him. But uh, it's one of those one of those weird looking, well, to me, um, Amazon um, publications, you know, printed by Amazon. But um, there's some interesting stuff in there. It's dirt cheap, so I mean, if, you, if you're a fan and you've not seen this one up, for sale, uh, just go to Amazon and uh, you'll find it at a very reasonable price. So, yeah, that's all I have to say for uh, say to you today. So, um, I hope you enjoyed that little one and uh, I will uh, <coughs> I will see you very shortly. Bye-bye now.